All right, we're going to look at this course here. This was a team jumpers from last weekend from Judge Nita Wolf. And basically, we're just going to look at one through nine, actually concentrating on seven through nine, but kind of the beginning impacts how you handle that part. So I kind of wanted to show all of it here. Um, real quick, there's a lot of different ways that, um, as you see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then to the back side of eight, and then you had to make a choice so to go to the left or to go to the right. Um, so that's the course we're going to be looking at here. And one through five, there were lots of different ways that people could handle it. Some people led out to this area up here and did a front cross and then were able to push. This being a double made it a little difficult for the championship dogs. It was a little easier for performance and not as risky, so more handlers did handle three and four on their left. Um, there were several people that did a rear cross either on the takeoff side of four or on the landing side. Um, but regardless, the handlers had to put in a front cross up here. Otherwise, it was a little difficult to get the backside of eight pretty much any other way. Um, as you could probably guess, there were quite a few off courses coming to the front side of eight, um, just depending on where the handler was. This was really hard to get that front cross in and then get moving. There were a lot of people that also did a blind in that area too to get to the backside a little better. Um, so basically we're going to look at 7, 8, 9 a little bit more here and with video demo at the end. This is a course that I did not have videotaped the day of, but I chose one of the rare ways to do it. I don't even actually know anybody else that chose the way I did it, um, but I did do it with three of my, three of my dogs. Um, a friend's dog I was running in performance, a border collie, and then Griffin, my little terrier mix, and Joker, my, my border collie. So looking at it, um, being on this side over here, you had to push to the back side. And then if you could beat your dog, um, if your human was faster than the dog, it was really nice to put in the two front crosses um, on, the land, on the takeoff side of eight, um, only if you could get there before your dog did, which wasn't the case in many teams, but the teams that could get down there and get in front of their dogs um, made that look really nice without wasting too much space um, or land. But in my mind, the only thing I could see that would have the best line in, and then obviously this is a shorter line. It makes a tough weave entry, but this is definitely a shorter line going into it rather than this way around. Um, you also had the off course number one jump here that coming around to the left of eight was a little riskier um, to get. But anyhow, um, so seeing this backside, whoops, wrong one. So seeing the backside here, um, this is a nicer turn if you handle it as a backside. And then if you could signal your dog as they're taking it to already know that they're going that way um, to get to the number nine would be the most efficient path. It was just how it was executed. Uh, a lot of people attempted to do the serpentine. So they kind of got up here to do the serpentine. Uh, those people chose to do that one if they had either a really good backside because the dog was coming kind of quickly here, and if they didn't anticipate the SERP too quickly, they had a nice backside. Uh, I thought it would be hard to get into the proper position of a serpentine, which is more in this area from where I was coming from and the speed of my dogs. So I didn't think that would be a very good option for my dog, as I didn't think I could get into this area as my dog was in this area. Um, I just physically didn't think I could get there with my rate of speed in my dogs. So I did not choose that route. Um, basically what I did was the backside to a rear cross. And in our next little clips, we'll look at that. So I sent all three of my dogs to the backside. And then I stayed over on this side of the jump as I then 
reared my dog, so they were already going over the jump the correct way, and then I met them over on this side. I'll do a little different color here. I met them over on this side for the pull, and then eventually the rear cross into the weed poles, um, which Joker had an amazingly awesome, beautiful weed pull entry. The other two dogs had overhandled a little bit, and they went a little wider. But his entry was amazing, just as awesome as I will show you here on the video. So basically, that is what we're going to talk about. All right, so this first one is the backside rear, which I handle the backside, and then I rear cross him. And that is how I ended up handling it that day. So here's a slow motion of it. I send to the backside as my left arm comes immediately up for the rear cross as I pull and then rear cross the weaves. And these next couple is how a lot of people did handle it. And it just depends if you have a good shoulder pull and if you can get up there to signal that. I knew Joker would want to go right over that jump. So I knew that wouldn't be the best option for us. And plus I just wouldn't be able to get up there. The two front crosses or the blended front cross worked really nice if again you could get up there. Because putting a stopwatch to it is always fun. I started at the jump to the weave pulls and that was 2.69 seconds. This shoulder pull one, which again you have to be up there, but it definitely is a longer path, was 4.09 seconds, almost a second and a half slower. And the reverse turn, which definitely cleaned up his path, but again you had to be up there, was 3.86 seconds. And then the two front crosses, or the blended cross, was 3.15. So that was the second best. All right, and then the other two ways is the stop and send shoulder pull, if you couldn't get to the takeoff side of the jump, and a serp, again, if you had a good backside and then could get in a proper position. And here's my two outtakes knowing I knew that they wouldn't work with Joker and I, but I wanted to show it and try it in practice here, so have fun watching these. He still wanted to go right, which I knew he would, and Serp didn't quite make it, which wasn't going to happen in competition either.